Hey, what is up guys? My name is Jay and today we are going to continue our adventure through Eterna Forest. I believe that's what this forest is called. Um, yeah. Uh, let's first use a repel so that we don't really encounter any items and also just want to show you guys some level ups. Mumble has grown to level 21, Falco has gone up to level 19, and Kaminari has gone up to level 18. Just did a little off um, screen training so that our Pokemon won't be too under level. I went back and faced those trainers and speaking of trainers, look at we got our first battle here right now. Wow, that battle took a lot longer than I thought it would. Maybe it's because um, I usually have uh, a Monferno by the stage and it looks like we got to start another battle. Wow, I cannot believe they actually took out our Primplup. Yes, we would like to use another repel. Yeah, those two sets of trainers were definitely um, were definitely a lot smarter than the previous one. Kept on spamming energy ball and looks like we got another battle. You know, I could really see why um, a lot of people uh, choose Chimchar as their starter Pokemon. I feel like it's just the better option. I know that um, you, in um, Sinnoh there's not a lot of great fire types. There's only like maybe Houndor and um, maybe a Growlithe, I'm not sure. But in, in like the beginning games, like Rapidash is like the only real... Um, early uh, fire type you could get so it looks like we made it out of uh, Turn Up Forest oh there's Exit I'm so relieved we finally got here I've never been able to get through this by myself thank you so much Jay today you are most welcome sadly we'll never see her again in the game alright we've made it to route 205 what's up here is there anything oh we got some berries yes we'll make some repels I'll grab those later um, you know what? Let's actually go back and uh, take these trainers on. Um, why not? You know, let's uh, send our Kaminari up first. All right, and let's go. Okay, so this guy does not want to battle. Maybe this guy. All right, nice. And for these sequences, I'm probably just gonna like talk it out. You know, just have a little conversation with you guys. And I guess it's not really much of a conversation because, uh, you know, I can't really hear um, what you guys are thinking. But, you know, I guess I'll just kind of tell you about my day. Uh, my day was pretty good. It's pretty sunny out. Um, in the morning when I first woke up, before I went back to sleep, uh, it was actually raining. And in California, that's almost unheard of. So, yeah, it was raining for a good day. Um, you know, and then later in the afternoon, right now, it's pretty sunny out. 
Um, it always feels nice to wake up to the sound of rain um, hitting your windows and a little bit of a you know gust hitting your windows kind of shaking just a little bit it's a little exciting just feel protected um, yeah it just felt really nice I don't know why it's just waking up to rain and like dark clouds that you can see up in the sky is just really nice it just went just makes you want to go right back to sleep which is exactly what I did um, you know normally I don't really like going back to sleep especially in the mornings because you know you got school and that's a very dangerous thing to do you know going back to sleep after you have a um, hit the snooze button on your alarm it's very dangerous and I've always been the guy that liked waking up early it just haven't been able to stay consistent with it because you know life gets in the way you know you stay up one day and then you just keep on staying up because it's so much easier to stay up than not um, I don't know why I guess just my body is just not used to being tired earlier during the evening um, it's something that I've been working on for years but never really have been able to crack um, I'm really like big into like morning routines and evening routines and all that good stuff because I think sleep is probably one of the most important things you could do during the night you know sleep is very vital to you know getting uh, you know getting you ready for the next day so you could stay productive and do what it is that you need to do so yeah I've been pretty on about that and I've actually uh, talked to one of my closest friends um, a couple days ago and he uh, we were kind of like talking about like oh man sleep is like <clears throat> kind of hard to do sometimes you know because he has insomnia and I was like dang dude like I didn't know that you still were suffering with insomnia till this day because I know that he had it since at least high school so he was just telling me that oh yeah you know like I just sleep um, whenever and I just wake up whenever I do um, he has classes later during the day so he could afford to sleep in if he doesn't really get good sleep but he just says that it's kind of stupid to wake up um, you know when you're still feeling tired because your body is literally telling you whether you know you're ready to wake up or not and that kind of hit me home so what I've been doing over this break is just kind of waking up when I feel like waking up because I definitely have the luxury of doing that right now you know schools not doing anything I don't have classes to go to um, I'm on break I'm gonna be remaining home for the last couple of days before I fly back and yeah it's it's very nice but it is also kinda uncomfortable because I'm the guy that kinda likes routine just a little bit not like I'm not saying I can't be spontaneous but like especially when it comes to my morning and evenings I kinda do like a little bit of routine because I don't like I don't like it when my mornings or evenings are hectic and the best way to make it non-hectic is to make it very predictable and to make it very predictable you just need routines so yeah that's kind of a long tangent about me and you know my obsession with sleep and all that good stuff but yeah I mean I've been waking up pretty late and but you know on the bright side I do feel wonderful like I always feel rested in the mornings now probably because I'm giving my body the amount of time of sleep that it needs um, but the unfortunate side of this is that I wake up pretty late like even today I woke up around 11 a.m. and that's like yo <laughs> you can't really do that when you go to school because some of us have 8 a.m. classes some of us have 9 or maybe 11 I remember my sophomore year I had uh, a semester where my earliest class was at 11 a.m. so I was like hey but you know back then I still was obsessed with the sleep thing so I try to wake up very early but you know I never really like stuck in the long term but you know I guess we just gotta figure it out like I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if it's just me being stubborn with all this routine thing but yeah okay it looks like we have made it to Eterna Cities can we get a bike this time around? Let's kind of go and check to see if we could get a bike because that will be heck of a Okay, so the dude with the bike is not here. In that case, we'll take care of um, something else real quick. We'll go up in here. And we'll talk to this old fossil. I am. You can call me Underground Man. Everyone else does. I'll make a... 
I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good to use. You obtained the Explorer Kit. So this is going to allow us to um, go underground and dig up, you know, like I said, fossils. Let me mentor you as you become a full-fledged Splunker. Just follow my lead. Okay, looks like we're gonna be following this old fossil down to dig up some fossils. First, go to the Grand Underground. Going underground is quite easy. Simply, you hear Explorer Kit. It can't be used indoors or in a cave. Now give it a try. Okay, so actually, how about we give it a try? And why not? Let's go explore. Oh, okay. Whoa, actually, I did not do any of that. Like, this old man did it for me. Dang. All right. Hey, Jay, today this is your first time here. Welcome to Sinnoh's Grand Underground. This is a network of tunnel caves and caverns lying beneath Sinnoh. Huh? What am I doing in this down? <clears throat> What am I doing down in this expanse of a place? Uh, that's kind of hard to answer. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want down here. For instance, you can dig up fossils and treasures, or you can make your own secret base. You should talk to the underground man in Eternal City to learn more. Why is the way to go back to the surface? Remember why. I have to get going now. I have to get going now. I'll see you around. <clears throat> Jesus. I just cannot read today. Alright, so this is the underground uh, cave, and we could definitely catch a few Pokemon. Uh, that's not exactly... Well, well, we'll explore a couple. This is the Spring Fountain Cave, and there's not a lot of Pokemon that I kind of want. I think, here's what we'll do. There is one Pokemon that I would like to catch today. And uh, once I find this Pokemon, I will... Oh, actually, here it is. So this is the Pokemon that I do want to catch. Let's just hope that it is the specified gender. Uh, we want a specific gender for this case, so... Alright, Intimidate. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Ah, oh, no. Alright, hopefully this will be the result. Like, bro, I've been searching for like 30 minutes on this thing. It's pretty ridiculous for one Pokemon. God dang, dude. Like, just give me the one I want. Like, oh! Okay, 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 okay. okay. Now, I remember Spark killed the last time, so I'm just gonna shock it. Just gently roast this fuck. Oh man, paralysis. This is, this is, oh, that's even perfecter. No, don't use teleport. Oh. No, dude, I don't even know Ross could teleport. Are you kidding me? Dude, oh my heavens. Why? Oh, dude, I'm gonna, ugh. dude, I'm gonna be at this for an hour catching a Pokemon, and it's, it's a pretty common Pokemon too. Like, hey, yo. Okay. Oh, that sucks. That really, really, really sucks. Okay, if I don't get it in the next three tries. Um, this is my first one, and then I'm just, I, yeah, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably just gonna give up for the day. Like, so that was my first one, I'm going a second time. Uh, come on! Okay, no luck. Alright, this is my last one, and then if I don't get it, then... I'm just gonna end today's session today because yo, I've been playing for a while. And looks like it was right out of luck. But I'm gonna give it two more tries actually because I, I kind of have a feeling it's gonna come in the next two. If it doesn't, then f well, fuck. Okay, that was number one. Just a lot of gastrodons. Those slimy sluggies. Alright, last one. If we don't get it here, then uh, I need a break. Really in a break. All right, seems like no luck. You know what, just one more, just one more, just one more. Cause six is my favorite number. 
Okay, let's just do one more. Last attempt. Lucky number. Mm -hmm. Damn. Really? Okay. Well, that is gonna be it for today. Uh, I'm just gonna save real quick right now. And I did catch a Togepi. Um, just for the fun of it. But yeah, I'm gonna... I am going to just end it here today and then I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, bye.